If your Unity build for mixed reality looks something like this, I've got a fix for you. There are a few reasons as to why this could happen. I'm going to go through each one of them and I hope you find your solution. The first reason could be due to camera's background type. Whether you're using XR Interaction Toolkit or Meta SDK, in both the cases, the main camera background type has to be set to solid color and the alpha value of the color has to be set to zero. The second reason as to why this could be happening is because you might be trying to use post-processing. With the current versions of SDK that we have, post-processing is not supported. Now, this solution is specific for Meta SDK and it does not work with the XR Interaction Toolkit. So to fix it, you can just disable post-processing under the camera settings. I know this is kind of obvious. However, if you really want to use post-processing, then there's a workaround. So open your Unity Hub and click on the three dots of the project where you're using post-processing and click on Show in Explorer. And then open the folder, go inside Libraries, Package Cache, and look for com.unity.renderpipelines.core and the version of URP that you are currently using. Copy this folder, go back inside your project, go inside packages and paste it over here. Once you have copied the folder, go back to your Unity project and in the project window, search for UberPost. Make sure the search is selected to all. Open this shader and scroll all the way down to line 286 and replace this code with these lines of code. Now you can find these lines in the description below and save the script. And now if you test your scene, you'll see that the post-processing works with pass-through and you'll no longer see the black background. However, remember that this is just a workaround and it might have some performance issues. You can use this hack for prototyping or for demos. However, if you're building a full-fledged game, I would highly recommend you to not use post-processing or wait for an SDK update that addresses this issue. Now, before we end this video, I'd like to give a shout out to San City from the Meta community who came up with this solution. All right, so that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one.